Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, back for some more Pokemon Sun and Moon, and we just got a few more Pokemon left remaining on Olivia here. Uh, with that Rocky and Z fainted my, my, uh, Zarina, we're just stuck with Pokemon that can't really, uh, do much to him. Oh, we have Stone Edge. Uh, okay, Rock Slide, I think it, Rock Slide does lower speed. It's a different move I'm thinking of. Yeah, probably a different move. Alright, we're gonna use Max Revive on... You, and... Yeah, Stone Edge is gonna faint Talbane here. Sadly. Like, literally, Bayonetta is the only one who could really do anything to uh, this team, along with Primarina, but I don't really want to overlevel Primarina here and give her too much of the spotlight. Damn, this thing hits like a truck. The attack fell, uh... Hydrogen kick. Nope. Thought, uh, it would she would barely live or something, but guess not. Uh, let's try Henzo. Play rough. Guys, I know. Oh no, do we have like something that'll quickly get rid of him? Nope. Okay, I think Shadow Claw will do the job. And we have taken down her Lycan Rock, who's been pretty much unstoppable. Henzo finally grows up to level 50. Let's learn Pain Split. Uh, no, nah, I think we're good. Pain Split's something stupid that the AI does to somehow like stall the battle. She's got Carb Bank, uh, Rock type. I don't know why she has a Carb Bank. That's it's very weak. It's like all these Elite Four members have like like that one weak Pokemon. This thing's tanky as fuck, what the fuck? Uh, let's heal up... Primarina here. Hyper Potion, no. Actually, no, she's not gonna heal from Hyper Potion. Max Potion... Well, she is gonna heal, but it's just, uh, you know. Oh, and she's also part Fairy. Forgot about that. Well, it's not even a he or she, I forgot. Rocks are genderless, except for Geodude. And uh, actually, most rock Pokemon are not genderless, but how am I saying? I know why this one's not genderless. Yeah, nice try, but... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Anyway, some quick updates. You know, still in Greece while recording this. Well, at the time of recording this. And, uh, I haven't really been doing much, you know, just the standard vacation stuff. I have been playing, uh, a few games. You know, I've gotten back to, uh, Fire Emblem Echoes, which I beat for the second time. I beat it, beat it last year on hard, but this year I beat it on normal to see if I could, uh, beat the optional boss. It's, like, really hard, but... That's been way too hard for me, so I'm gonna try doing something about that. And her next Pokemon is Probo Pass here. The one that actually, uh, we've seen in her store. Steel and Rock. Yeah, she's got a lot of, like, mixing around with the typing. Like, dual typing Pokemon. Anyways, yeah, I've been trying doing that. I've also been, uh, playing some other games as well. You know, I've been pl playing uh, on emulators and whatnot. You know, games I already own. Like Mario Party and uh, Smash. Plus, I have some Steam games. You know, I'm not really bored all the time, but, you know. I just like hard with, like, the time zones and whatnot. Uh, come on. I don't really want to waste all the sparkling Arias, like, oh no. 
I really want to waste all sparkling Aria's, uh, like, power points, but... Oof. Okay, the speed fell. Hopefully we're actually able to take him out. Maybe a sparkling Aria will do it. Okay, there we go. We're faster than him now. Despite being paralyzed... Still not able to take him. What the hell? He's gonna use Power Drum again. Uh, no. Bubble Beam should do the trick. There we go. We're able to outspeed him. And that's it. We have defeated Olivia after this long, stalling fight. Yeah, let's take care of Cream Rain. I don't want to have to waste any of my stuff. Oh, look at her. Let's heal her up. I'm not sure if I did this during my Let's Play, but I actually reset it to get Poplio Female. I'm not sure if I actually did that on the first... If I actually got on the first try or not, but... If I did, then that's pretty impressive. If I didn't, then I'm just telling you guys now I would, I would reset for a female Poplio, because it's just weird to have a male... Uh, Primarina. Like, there's some Pokemon that you can't really have as a male or female. Like, you know, you don't want your mod champ to be, like, female. You want it to be male. I mean, it's just weird to have, it, like, this muscular, like, bodybuilding female. And I'm just trying to see something that's more natural. Obviously, if you get, like, a male routes or female routes, you obviously want to keep the female routes as Gardevoir and, uh, the male routes to make it Gallade. Anyways, Professor Kakui's still here, so he's probably gonna guide us. Anyways, we've got our third one here, also a very familiar face. Yeah, they have so many familiar faces here. But this one we actually never thought, so this is gonna be quite the interesting matchup here that we're gonna get ourselves into. Heal up everyone. Everybody's actually now level 50 and above, which is actually uh, something I was hoping for during the uh, Elite Four. Uh, during the Elite Four. Anyways, let's reorganize our Pokemon again. Uh, who's going to be the most useful for this fight? Again, Henzo is actually going to be really useful. Talbane's going to be up there as well. Uh, Alcles, actually, this might be your first one being useful, and sadly for Alolan, Raichu, and Bayonetta, they're not really going to be able to hit them as hard, because... Well, the next challenge we have is a Ghost-type Elite Four. Yeah, Areola is the... Wait, Acerola? Areola? I'm not... I don't know. The C is, like, you know, hard, gets past me real quick. Yeah, the girl with the freakishly cute smile and the uh, creepy outfit. Girl, you probably wouldn't want standing at the end of the hallway. And now she's an Elite Four member, so we're going to actually be phasing her off for the first time. Yo, know, to be honest, when I was actually first playing this game, I was looking in, like, in the background if there's going to be anything creepy. Uh, like in a... Wow, there, there was that little sound in the background, but... I was looking for, like, some creepy girl or something in the background. Like, uh, how there was in, uh... In, uh, Alpha Sapphire and, uh, Omega Ruby. Apparently there is none. Uh, she's got Sableye, her first Pokemon. Uh... This guy should do the trick. So it protects us from that Shadow Claw, because that Shadow Claw actually would have done a lot of damage. Sable, oh shit. Sable is hanging on. Uh, we're going to do Shadow Claw. And hopefully uh, we attack first next turn. Sable Eye is really fast and really deadly to deal with. Rough play, well play rough. I don't like you said rough play. I mean, it kind of makes sense for rough play instead of play rough. I don't know. Uh, of course. I 
Shadow Claw, oh no. Yep, Henzo is down. Uh, Sableye. Fuck it, Primarina. Let's go Ballistic on him with Moonblast. She wants to learn Hydro Pump, that's 5 PP, but 80% accuracy. Uh, we're gonna keep old moves. Sparkling already is fine, it's just basically Surf, but a little bit different. And, oh, tell me, oh no, this is the one I'm afraid of. I'm not sure if it's Water and Steel, or not, Ghost and Water, or Steel and Ghost. Because this thing is, no, I think it's Grass and Ghost. I don't know, this thing is weird. Because it's an anchor, and, like, it has grass on it, but anchors are usually, like, made of, like, some sort of metal. And we never actually seen this Pokemon before on our journey. It's actually really rare to come by. Uh, let's try Flamethrower, seeing what, see what that does. Ooh, and we burned it too, and it is a part grass, and I'm guessing it is ghost-type, so we're pretty fine here, actually. So, yeah, we're actually going to take it out quite quickly. This is the Pokemon I was actually worried about facing, but... You know, because I don't really know it's typing that well. I mean, it's supposed to be steel, because, you know, it's made out of iron, but, you know, it's also grass because it has a bunch of seaweed on it. Either way, Alcleese would still get rid of it. She's got Palo Sand, Ground, and Ghost. Actually, Bayonetta would actually be uh, really useful in this fight. So all she needs to do is just one Trop Kick, I think, and Palo Sand is gone. Plus, uh, none of the Ghost or uh, Ground type moves would really affect her. So, oh, well, actually, no, he's pretty bulky. His attack fell though, and he's using Iron Defense. Drop kick again. I think it's going to do less damage, though. Yeah, it did less damage. But his attack is going to keep falling, so... You know, it's not really going to do much. Oh, no. Oh, that was a critical hit. Oh, no. Uh, let's do Teeter Dance, maybe? Get it confused. Before we faint here, possibly. Unless he hits himself right here. Oh, what the hell? Ghost Neum Z, I think. Never ending nightmare. Never ending nightmare. Was that a Dead by Daylight reference? <laughs> Anyways, let's send out uh Azura. Now we just use Iron Defense. Zero's pretty much just gonna get rid of him. Bubble Beam. Actually, we're gonna have to end off the episode. So let's faint her Palo Sand real quick. And see what that next Pokemon is. Talbain grew up level. And her one of her last Pokemon is Frostlass, Ghost and Ice. And again, Alcleese is actually gonna be pretty useful in this fight. Anyways, love my videos with that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. In the next episode of Sun and Moon, we're going to take down the rest of uh, Acerola's team and take on the final member of the Elite Four. See you guys then.